Well, let us try to see some numerical problems related to light chapters, that is chapter 10 and chapter 11, which is frequently asked in your board exams. Before we directly start solving them, let us quickly do some revision. That is some important formula that we will be using them when solving the numericals. Spherical mirror. So a spherical mirror is divided into two parts. That is the one concave mirror. Here you can see the reflecting surface is inside. And the convex mirror, the reflecting surface is outside. And a mirror formula. Mirror formula in simple word we can understand like the relationship between the image distance, object distance and focal length. So that is you will get to know more about these when we use them in the numerical problems. The magnification. Magnification simply means like how large the image has become. By what amount the image has enlarged, we can calculate using the magnification formula. And the other one is in terms of distance. So if you know the object distance and the image distance, we can also find the magnification. So in general, magnification is this one. So this is very, very important. Now, spherical lens is also of two types that is a concave lens and convex lens here you can see now, this convex lens is also called a converging lens why now here you can see all the rays passing through the lens get converged that means they are meeting at a point but in a concave lens is also called a diverging lens that is the ray that passes you know will not meet anywhere else but it will just simply diverge, will go in different directions. Well, this is the lens formula. And this is the magnification for lens. Power of lens can be defined as the reciprocal of the focal length. So that focal length should be in meter. We wish to obtain an erect image of an object using a concave mirror of focal length 15 cm. So this type of question no, identifying a mirror or lens is very important. So here it is a concave mirror. Here we have to find the range of object distance. Range of object distance. Should be less than 15 centimeter. Okay, so let us try to understand this. The only condition to get an erect image for a concave mirror is this one. That is a between ball and focus. When the object is between the ball and focus. Now, focus is given 15 centimeter focal length. And then, we wish to obtain an erect image. So that means the object should be somewhere here. Between. That means it should be less than 15 centimeter. So this is the answer. Nature will be... virtual and erect this image is behind the mirror so it will be virtual and so you can see that the image is erect if it is downside then it will be inverted and you will see that the image image will be larger than the object so it will be enlarged so let's try to draw a ray diagram This is concave mirror. Um, let's say this one is 50. So we want to get an erect image. Object should be here only less than 15 centimeter. So whatever the range that is passing through the principal axis, it should reflect and fall on the focus. So this is.
So you can see that this is plus. Since V is equals to plus, so M is from this side. That means, again, magnification is higher of image by height of object is equals to v by u for lens okay therefore height of image will So this is the meeting point. So in question number 17, we have a concave lens of focal length 15 cm. And then image distance is given 10 cm. So we have to find the object distance. So given why everything is minus. Let's see. Now this is the concave lens diagram. So in concave lens diagram, you'll see that the image is forming. That's it. Left hand side. Okay. So that means so you import the cases. So that means the focal length is on the left hand side, image distance is also on the left hand side. So whatever lies on the left hand side it should be negative. So that's why given things are negative. Now once we know this one, then we can use lens from 1 by v, 1 by u is equal to 1 by f. So we have to find the object distance. So you can take this one on the right hand side. minus 10 minus focal line is 50 at 30 centimeters so let's take this one to be 30 centimeter and then this is the focus focus is 50 so here we are keeping the object and then you see the ray diagram you know we pass here this concave lens is a diverging lens again okay? so it will diverge it will go like this 
then we can draw and then one more will go through optical center and it will not diverge again so this is the image here in question number 18 we have to find the position and nature of the image given object distance is always negative it will be 10 cm and focal length is positive 50 okay why it is positive it is convex mirror okay so then convex mirror this is the convex mirror then you will see that the center of curvature is this side and then focal uh, focus is this one so focal length is this one it will be positive right the whatever taken from from here to the right hand side will be plus so it will be and then we have to find the image distance now mirror from we have to find v 1 by f minus 1 by u then substitute everything minus 1 by 10 so this becomes 1 by 15 minus minus becomes 10 right so then this will become 30 so 15 2 times is 30 and then 10 3 30 so it will be 5 v is equal to the reciprocal it so it will be 6 cm now v is plus so that means image is somewhere here on the right hand side so it will be virtual and virtual image is always erect okay these things you have to remember real is always inverted so that's it this question and the previous question is similar to question only given height of object is given object distance is given 20 centimeter and radius of curvature is given since this is convex mirror so radius of curvature will be this side so it will be positive 30 centimeter now we have to find v first so we know that focal length is r by 2 since r is 2 times the focal length okay so we can do like this then therefore now mirror formula you can use we have to find v so just take the term u on the right hand side focal length is 15 minus 1 by 20 it is minus right so it will be 15 plus 20 today you can take 60 lc 15 into 4 times then 3 23 times is 60 so it will be 7 by 60 so 1 by v therefore v is reciprocal it will get 7 8 56 and then all these things 57 centimeter okay and then this is plus plus means this side so it will be behind the mirror
This one will be 54. Okay. So 18 into 3 times means 54. 27 into 2 times is 54. So you will have minus 1 by 54. Therefore, V is equals to minus 54 centimeter. So we have to find the distance of the screen. So, yeah. find the size of the image. So we know magnification for magnification, you can read image distance by object distance, height of the uh, image v by u. Then this will go up. So, height will be minus v is minus 54, u is minus 27 and the height of object is 7 9 3 27 9 6 54 3 2 6 so this this minus and this minus plus plus the downside still there is one minus so it will be minus 14 centimeter so height of the image is 14 centimeter major now we have height of object is 7 but we are getting the image to be 14 so it is magnified b is minus 54 that's negative that means that v is somewhere here this side yeah? so it is real that means if we have the image on this side that means in front of the mirror then we can turn on the screen so such type of image is called a real and this one is negative so it will be inverted we have to find the focal length lens and then we have to identify the types of lens given power is two type three so now we know that Power is 1 by f focal length in meter. Therefore, just uh, we can do this one right cross multiplication. Then we can do this one. So it will be 0 0.5 meter focal length. Yeah. So now focal length is negative. That means what type of lens it will be. So focal lens is negative for concave lens, right? You see, this is your concave lens. So here we have the focus here, right? Principle. So this is a focal lens. Alright. So whatever lies on the left hand side, it will be negative. So So we have to find a focal length for distance vision and near vision. Given, we have to find a focal length for.
Okay, for biopic, a yeah, concave lens is needed. Okay, number seven, you have to do. One by three, therefore power is equals to one by f. So one by f is f is what three. One by three, so it will be three. Therefore power is three diopter.